Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Lumio Station. Hello Lumio Station and welcome back to another top 10 video, this time with me the one integral and I'm covering the top 10 fire type Pokemon. Now as always with top 10s remember, everyone has their own favourites, they're entitled to their own opinion and their own favourites, so please respect my opinion and obviously anyone else is in the comments below, if someone says their favourite fire type is a Torchic, then respect that opinion, it's their opinion. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say there, anyway, I guess we shall start with the top 10 now. So at number 10 for the top 10 fire type Pokemon, I have chosen Pyroar. Being newly introduced in Generation 6, this is a fire normal type Pokemon, or technically a normal fire type, and it is a pretty cool Pokemon because it's basically a lion. That's basically what it is, it's a lion. And it's the first real lion Pokemon we've seen. I mean, we've had looks rare in the past, um, it's based on lion, but I wouldn't really class it as a proper lion because it wasn't exactly based on a lion. It's more of a a lion mixed with another sort of animal there, whereas Pyroar is a pure lion, it's awesome. And it's mane in the, in the male form, it's, just, it's amazing. Female form, it doesn't look as, as amazing, but the, the wavy sort of line, the wavy flame coming off its head, does still look pretty cool. And I really like the fact that males are a lot rarer than females, because that's what it is in real life with real lion prides. You have one male with about five or six females, so I'm really happy at the way they did that, because that's just sort of how it is. So I guess that's all I really have to say for Pyroar, because that's what Pyroar is. Also, I really do like its colouring as well, it really sort of fits together well, and fits in with the lion theme. Next up on my list is Houndoom. Now this Dark Fire type is actually the favourite Pokemon of another Lumio Station director, Cull of Death, so... Yep, I guess she's going to have him buttons on it. Um, but yeah, Houndoom is a pretty beast Pokemon. Uh, it's obviously based on a devil, devil dog, Cerberus, um, from Greek mythology, I think. I'm not quite sure. But overall, it does look pretty, pretty damn evil. Uh, and it actually, it's, it's Mega Evolution X and Y. It looks awesome too. I, lo I love the skulls on its design. It just looks so cool. And, you know, in the anime, it's pretty damn cool as well. Then in the number 8 spot we have Ninetales. Now I mainly chose to put Ninetales here because of its really amazing shiny form. Its shiny form just looks amazing with the little blue tips on its tail and stuff like that. But generally Ninetales is actually a pretty cool Pokemon as well. And can actually seem some decent use in Capesta as well with its Drought, which is its hidden ability. Um, you know, combine that with something like a Solar Beam or, you know, a Grass type Pokemon with Chlorophyll. And you've got a pretty good setup there. So yeah, over in Ninetales is a pretty cool Pokemon. I quite like it myself, uh, which is why it's number 8, obviously, <laughs> but yeah, um, that's that. Then at number 7 we have Typhlosion, which is the final evolution of Cinequo, one of the starter Pokemon from the Johto region. Now Typhlosion is one of, well, it's one of the best, I wouldn't say it's one of the best starter Pokemon for, in terms of fire Pokemon, but uh, I do like quite like it a lot. It does look pretty cool, I love it's uh, anime sort of cry and stuff like that. And also I like it's shiny form quite a lot, it's a nice deep red colour, which sort of blends in with the, with the fact that it's a fire type Pokemon, makes a lot of sense. Um, but it's normal colour and looks pretty good as well. And it can learn some half decent moves, Lava Plume, Extra Sensory, stuff like that. Has some use in competitive, so I guess, you know, that's a bonus there. Then at number 6 we have Heatran, uh, one of the first legendary Pokemon on this list. I do quite like Heatran's design and the magma form and the, sort of the magma colouring and stuff like that. And the fact that it's a steel type 2 really sort of helps, um, it might have, I don't know, I'm sort of thinking now it might have been better being a fire rock type since it's based on magma, since magma is pretty much molten rock. So it might have, you know, f uh, fit in a bit better there. But fire steel is still pretty decent, um, not bad at all. Um, yeah, Heatran is, you know, Heatran's also one of the only legendaries, I think, or possibly the only legendary that can be male or female, so you could say that that's, you know, a case of, is it actually a legendary then? But, in my opinion it is, I think, you know, it's actually classed as one, and, yeah, stuff like that. Then coming up to number 5 here we have Victini, another legendary Pokemon. This one I like quite a lot because it's always showing the peace sign. It's like such a sort of a cheesy Pokemon I guess. It just looks so funny whenever you see it with a peace sign. And also has some really cool signature moves uh, for X and Y, uh, V Flare I think it is. Uh, they just look, it looks awesome um, overall. And also Victini is a little powerhouse as well, you know, it's very small, doesn't like do a huge amount of damage. But you know, with those 100 base stats, it does pack quite a punch. Then coming at number four is the one and only Tit Duck. Yes, um, I think was it Nappy that coined the name Tit Duck, or was it someone else? I'm quite, I don't quite know. Nappy's who I know it from. Obviously Tit Duck. Uh, the reason I put Magmar to here is because Magmar is known as Tit Duck. 
Um, and I don't know, it's, it's just made me really like the Pokemon. I don't quite know why. Uh, it's just whenever I see Magma now, all I can think about is Tick Duck. Yeah, a bit weird, I know. But uh, overall, Magma is a pretty cool Pokemon, being uh, introduced in Generation 1, one of the first fire types around. And also, you know, I like its pre evolution Magby as well, it's not too bad. And obviously, Magmortar does look pretty beastly as well, so Magma is you know, the middleman and still a pretty cool Pokemon, though. And at number 3 is the one Pokemon you all have expected to appear on this list, it's Charizard. Now, uh, almost majority of people's favourite, favourite fire type, not everyone's favourite fire type, and I know people do get sort of a lot of stick for saying Charizard is their favourite fire type. I do quite like Charizard, um, and it, you know, it's, poss it's a possibility it could be higher on this list, but it is one of my favourite Pokemon. It was my first starter Pokemon I ever played, um, I first played Fire Red, I picked Charmander, and so it's my final, first ever starter Pokemon generally. So I really do love it, I love its design, especially its Mega Forms and X and Y, both of them are pretty damn awesome looking, and also its shiny form just looks amazing as well. Generally, it's just a cool Pokemon, I really do like it. Um, I know a lot of people might hate me for the, you know, um, if I put it any higher, but it's as high as it went, so, yep, that's pretty much Charizard. And at number 2, and actually the third Fire-type starter Pokemon on this list, is Infinape. Now, Infinape looks pretty damn awesome as well. Given it was the second fire uh, firefighting type starter we did get, but then again, it is, uh, in my opinion, I like it more in Blaziken at least, especially since Blaziken's been, you know, far too used in Generation 6 Wi Fi thanks to its new Mega Evolution and new ability, uh, or, you know, Mega Evolution with ability, I guess. Um, it's just been used far too much, Blaziken, but I do like Infinite quite a lot. It has a great hidden ability in the Iron Fist, you know, you can use it, you know, a lot, Mac Punch. Ice Punch, Fire Punch, whatever punch you want to use, I don't even know if I can learn Ice Punch or not, but yeah, you get the idea there. It does look pretty cool as well, and its design looks better than Blaziken in my opinion, because of the flames on its head and stuff like that. I just like it a bit more than Blaziken in general. It's slightly higher above Charizard, mainly because it, they're about the same, um, but I thought I'd put Infinite higher. Because I know as a whole, Charizard gets a lot of hate as well, so I thought I'd put Infinite a bit higher on the list. And then at number one, and also the third legendary on this list, is Entei. Now, Entei looks pretty damn awesome to start off with. You know, it's got its sort of face, facial mask thing um, that it shares with sort of Raikou and Suicune, sort of, the, not the design, but, you know, the theme. Uh, and it's got this flowing cape with its sort of, you know, spikes on its back. And obviously, it's, I think it's the, vol is it the Volcano Pokemon, or is it another Pokemon, like the type of Pokemon? I'm not quite sure what it is. But it does look cool as well, and it has great use in competitive battling as well. And you know, it's just an amazing Pokemon, and especially in the movie as well. It was pretty damn decent in the movie. It is the yes yeah, volcano Pokemon, as I said. Uh, it does look pretty decent. Obviously, its abilities, hidden abilities, hack, flash, fire, which can be quite useful. And yeah, pretty much, it does just look amazing. And I know Nappy quite likes his Entei, his shiny Entei he uses in competitive battles. So, yeah, that is pretty much Entei. It's at number one in the Pokedex with its cool sort of mask thingy. It's, you know, gold and red and stuff like that mask, and it's brown fur, and it's sort of it's, it's leg bands. I don't quite know what you call them, but they're, they, I don't know, looks almost like it was shackled up somewhere, but like it was a prisoner. Okay, I'm looking too much into that there, but, you know, you guys, you guys get what I mean there. He generally looks like a pretty cool Pokemon. So, guys, that has been my top ten on Lumio Station. I apologise. Uh, not in advance, but in pre-advance, post-advance, one of those. Um, that I, you know, I don't hold that high opinion. I don't have, you know, I'm, I'm not like someone who goes, "This is my favorite Pokemon. It's the best," etc. I'm really more of a, I don't really give a damn. <laughs> I don't give a damn. You know, uh, these Pokemon are cool. These Pokemon are, you know, they're still cool, but they're not as cool. So I don't have, I don't have set in stone opinions. So sorry if this uh, top ten was fairly varied, but that's how I roll. That's how I roll indeed. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching, check out all the other videos on Lumio Station, and I'll be seeing you next time, guys. Goodbye.